Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we worship you. Father, to joy. From your spirit to my spirit, I am lighted by your love. And with your breath of life, that's how I come alive. That's how I change my world. Just breathe your name upon me. As you are joining me online today for our prayer time, our intercession for our country, our intercession for our nation, can you lift up your hand and let's worship our Lord, our God, can you lift up your hand and let's bless his holy name. Let's bless his holy name. Let's worship him. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your hand and worship the King of Kings. I want you to lift up your hand and appreciate our Lord, our God. Who is always there to sustain us? Who is always there to help us? Our Lord, our God, our healer, our sustainer. Lift up your hand and worship him. Lift up your hand and bless his holy name. Lift up your hand and worship him. Say thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we have worship. In Jesus' name, we have pray. Praise ye the Lord. Let us pray. Our Lord, our God, I want to say thank you for another beautiful day. Thank you for today. Thank you for our life. Thank you for our home. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our business. Thank you for our career. Father, thank you for everything that concerning each and every one of us. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for keeping us. Lord, I want to say thank you for upholding our nation. Thank you for your peace that is reigning in our home, in our environment. To you be all glory, to you be all honor, to you be all adoration in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, as we come before you today to pray for our nation, to pray for our country, I ask the Father, heavens of peace, heavens of intercession, let it open upon us in the name of Jesus. Heavens of wonder, heavens of healing, heavens of restoration, heavens of peace, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Upon our country, upon our nation, wherever, whatever the name of your country, wherever you are journeying journey in from, wherever you are logging in from, right now, I decree, I declare upon that nation, upon that your country, let the peace of God, let it reign in the name of Jesus. The peace of God, 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 the peace of God. Let it reign in the name of Jesus. Today, Father, have your way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are pray. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I welcome every one of us to today's prayer time in the name of Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Lua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. And this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry with the mandate of raising, restoring, and sustaining effective altar of prayer. Raising, restoring, and sustaining effective altar of prayer. Praise the Lord. Another prayer is the place where we come together to meet with our Lord, to meet with our God. Praise the Lord. So, the mandate of this ministry is for us to create a platform where we'll be able to come together in that place to meet with our God, either individual or as a group, to come together to pray to the living God. Praise the Lord. If you and I did not create time 
if you and I do not have a platform, an avenue, or a place to talk to our God, then who are we going to talk to? Then the crisis, the problem around us, how will they be solved? Praise the Lord. So for this reason, the Lord God have raised this ministry for this end time vision to raise, to sustain effective altar prayer. Once again, I welcome every one of us to today's prayer time in the name of Jesus. By the special grace of God, every second Monday we come online to pray for our nation. You see the country, the nation Kenya as a point of contact. That we say Kenya doesn't mean that our prayer is only for Kenya. As you are praying for Kenya, I'm not in Kenya, I'm in Nigeria. As you are in Kenya, as you are in Uganda, as you are joining us from South Africa, as you are joining us from Liberia, as you are watching, uh, logging in or you are listening to this uh, podcast from other nations, when we begin to pray, when we begin to mention our country, when I mention Nigeria, when I mention Kenya, when those people in Kenya, when they mention Kenya, you mention your own country. Peace within our border. Somebody say peace within our border. I want you to repeat it. Say peace within our border. Praise ye the Lord. So our assignment is to pray unto the living God for peace to reign within our country. Praise ye the Lord. And I started this uh, particular uh, series last month where I led us to pray for our leaders. And I share with us, when we are praying for our leader, we are not only praying for the national leaders or the political leaders. That means those leaders that were appointed to those positions via balloting or via voting. No. Leaders come across every areas of life. We have the political leader, we have the national leader, those who uh, supersede to the affairs of our nation, the president, the vice president, the executive, the legislative arms, and the, the, the judiciary arms. They are all leaders. Praise the Lord. And from there, we have the religious leader, the pastors, the bishop, and when you're talking about the Muslim people, the, the, the imam, their leader, and uh, for those who are not Muslim, for those who are not Christian, the, the traditionalists, they have their own leaders too. Praise the Lord. Hear me, sir. Hear me, ma. Whatever decision those religious people were that they take, it always has effect on their followers. Praise the Lord. Many people believe in their pastors. Many people believe in the counsel of their pastors. So when a religious leader, a pastor, imam, a bishop, Islamic cleric, or the traditional leaders, the Fudus, the Shagoman, when they show up and they give an advice, they ask their followers to go out and do some certain things. You see them running out to carry it out without thinking twice if it is right or if it is wrong. So those religious leaders, they are also a leader that we must pray for. Praise it the Lord. And it now come down to the environment level. The environment leader, leaders. Those leaders, those people, those men, those women that see to the affairs of our environment. Our environment. Praise the Lord. For example, we have the kings. Amen. We have the kings. We have people like that. Those that see to the affairs of environment. The decision of that, over that environment matter. If a king of a leader of a particular environment, particular community, decided that this is what will happen in this environment, it is bind. There, there are many people in that environment that will agree with him. And people will follow him. People will obey. Praise the Lord. So we need to pray for them also so that they don't take a wrong cancer that will affect other people in that environment. Then he now move down to the family level. The father, the mother. The father, this decision is final in the house. The mother, a decision also is final in the house. So if the decision of the father and the mother are just opposite, you know there are problems that will be crisis in that home. Over that side. If a father said, this is what I want my child to do, 
and the mother said no this is what will happen there's going to be problem in that home and there's going to be crisis there's going to be problem in the life of that child i've seen a child who are just at the crossroad of their career they don't know what to do and as a result of that it lead them to another thing entirely the father because in his lineage in his lineage you can count five six lawyers the man is a lawyer his father a lawyer uh, this is uncle everybody in his line they are lawyers and you have the wife who is a teacher an elementary school teacher so the, the daddy said oh this is my son because they in my line they are lawyers this one also must become lawyer because if he's not a lawyer amen there may be people may look at him that too oh. and the mom the mother said no why can't we think about science why can't we think about medicine I can be thinking about other profession. Daddy said, No. Okay, son, what do you want to become? And it was another thing entirely. And the mother said, Okay, can we allow the child to do? The daddy said, No, he must become a lawyer. <laughs> Praise it the Lord. So that child, we know that there is problem upon that child. Praise it the Lord. If we can continue and talk in many examples in this area. Not only that, yeah, Mr. Ayama, what about your boss? You are working the man, your supervisor. is a boss. It's your leader. The decision that supervisor make over your life matter. So you need to pray for so advice in that position as a leader over your life. Some years ago, while I was working in a, a bottling company, my, my supervisor, because I operated the filling machine, the machine that we fill water inside the bottle, and that one determine both the output and determine everything. So the whosoever is running that machine will determine the speed of that the entire uh, system. So because I was God helped me, the speed was high, and it was time for me to go on break. And the supervisor said, "All right, if you go on break now, whosoever is coming to take over this machine, we cannot operate it at your own speed." So you are not going on break today. And I said, I'm qualified to go on break. I have right to go on break. I will go on break. And the man, I look at him in age. He just maybe one or two years older than me. <laughs> but position, he's my boss. He's my supervisor. He said, all right, if you stop that machine, I will deal with you. I said, okay, I want to see what you do. I just called whoever that saw uh, the guy that's supposed to take a uh, roll to operate the machine. I said, oh God, I'm going on break. And I left. The man did not do anything. He did not talk. The second day, he did not talk. The third day, he did not talk. At the end of the month, when it was time for them to pay me my salary, amen. <laughs> on the pay slip, I saw that a whole day, uh, uh, what do you call it? A whole day salary was deducted from my salary. And I know I did not miss any day. So I was, I was really angry. And I went to the, uh, what do you call it? To the finance department. I lodged my complaint. And they said, go and meet your supervisor. And bring a note for him from him and i went to my supervisor and he said all right go and bring the what do you call it go and bring the register for <laughs> for the day the attendant for the day and i was uh, you know because i know i don't miss any day and i went to the um to to the security post i brought the register before that i said this is the register check it from the first day to the last day i did not miss any day in our point to a particular day i saw that they start that day i said i didn't miss any day why would they start it he said, do you remember the day I said you should not stop the machine? I said, which day? The day that you said you go on break? I said, yes. He said, so because you stopped the machine and I asked you not to stop it, you stop it. So I start the day that that day you did not come to work. The, day, the salary was deducted. There's nothing I can do. He's my supervisor. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So yeah, Mr. Yami man. Every one of us, we have somebody who is ahead of us, who is a leader upon us. We must pray for them. If we don't pray for them, any decision they take that is wrong is going to affect us. It's going to affect our life. It's going to affect everything that concerns us. Praise the Lord. First Timothy 2, 1 to 4. First Timothy 2, 1 to 4. First Timothy 2, 1 to 4. When you look at all the crises that is going on all over the world today, all problem, all crisis that is going on all over the world today, praise the Lord. We see all the war, all that is that is going on all over the world. Yeah, Mister, hear me, man. 
by the time you vet it, we see that it's as a result of one decision that was made by a leader, either political leader, either a leader in a, upon a, a particular environment, a decision made by one one leader. First Timothy two one to four. I exhort therefore that first of all supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. God is saying in all our prayer, the very first prayer you must pray. You are fasting for yourself, you want, you want to live a better life. The first prayer that you must offer to me is intercession, giving of thanks, be made for all men. What kind of men? All men here is not only talking about the male uh, uh, species, it's talking about both male and female. What kind of men? He said, Nafasu, for kings. And for all in authority, that we may lead. Where should I pray for kings and those in authority, those leaders over me? The Bible says that I may lead a quiet and peaceful life in godliness and honesty. If we don't pray for our leader, if they take any drastic decision, it's going to affect us. And it's going to affect peace in our home. It's going to affect peace in our environment. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. I hear some people saying, eh, I don't like that by our president. Eh, our president come from the opponent, the opposition party. We are not praying for them because we like them. We are not praying for them because we associate with them. We are not praying for them because what they are doing is right. We are not praying for them because we are benefiting from them. We are not praying for them because they are our brother. We are not praying for them because they come from our tribe. We are not praying for them because they come from our um, uh, language. We are not praying for them because it's our uh, family. No. We are not praying for them because they are from our political party. No. We are not praying for them because we like them. No, we don't like them. But we are praying for them because of the word of God, because of the mandate of God, because it's a decree, because it's an order from God that we should pray for them. So that, number one, the leaders will lead a quiet and peaceable life. When they lead a quiet and peaceable life, there is peace up there. The peace will flow down. But if we don't pray for them, any wrong decision they take, Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. Let me just take two countries as example so that we can pray. All these leaders, let's use some of these presidents as example. When they they don't know what is going on around your life, they don't know what is going on around your, your environment. Do you know that they don't even go to the market to buy things, to buy food? Nigeria, we are just coming out of a season that you have to be using money to buy money. Using Naira to buy Naira. You have uh, 20,000 Naira. You must use like one third of it to get to buy it. So you are having like 20,000 Naira. Before you can receive it, 5,000 will go and uh, they will only give you 15,000. You work and uh, they pay you like how much? Maybe you work for a, for a whole season and they pay you like 20,000 Naira. Before you can have that money, 5,000, you must use 5,000 to buy your own money. So you'll be only be entitled to only be like 15,000. And by the time you take that money to market, the value of everything in that market have gone up. Our leaders don't go to market to buy food stuff. Petrol. You are buying, you are complaining of petrol uh, is that scarcity. They don't know that there is petrol scarcity. They don't know. Oh, you are complaining. Oh, there is uh, the uh, price of things has gone up. They don't know. You know why? That their position, that their seat, offer them everything they want. I work in a place. My boss, you don't carry him inside the bus and go to filling station to fill the, the car. You must fill the tank. So there was a time that was first car city all over Nigeria. This man did not know. Yes, by news, he learned that there was first car city. People don't get fuel. But for him, every day he goes out, every three days, every week he travels across the nation. But this man did not know. You know why? If the, if the liter of fuel that is less than 100 naira, if they are selling it 1,000 naira, it's none of his business. Buy it. So the weight of it is now on with the followers. You go and look for, scan for fuel. 
you may kill for two days before you get it by. It's none of his business. If you don't pray for your president, if your president, if your leader over your country take a wrong decision, you are the one that will pay the price for it. So for us, for our leaders not to take a wrong decision, we are here today in the next uh, few minutes to pray for all our leaders. We have many people in the Bible that uh, they took a wrong decision and uh, people pay dearly for it. In Genesis, in, um, Genesis 12, let's look at two of them so that we begin to pray. Genesis 12, 10 to 13. The Bible said, Pharaoh took the wife of Abraham because Abraham said, she is my sister. So she took it and what happened? The Bible said, the Lord God plagued Pharaoh and all his house. Decision of the king affected all his household. They are not the one that sinned. They are not the one that took Abraham's wife. It was the king. But for his decision, every member of his household were plagued with serious sickness. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. What about in uh, Exodus? In Exodus 32, 1 to 4. Exodus 32, 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. In that book of Exodus, we see there. Aaron, the, the, the children said, the children said, the, uh, Moses have gone. We cannot see him again. Maybe he's dead. Okay, can you give us another king? The Bible did not tell us that Aaron scolded them. The Bible did not tell us that Aaron silenced them. The Bible did not say, uh, uh, told us that Aaron asked them to be quiet. The Bible said, Aaron said, okay, if you want another God, bring all your gold. And what happened? He created, he made an image for them to worship. What is the meaning? They are spiritual leader. Do you see now? Spiritual leader this time around leads them into idolatry. Unknown to us, many of our spiritual leaders, they are leading us onto idolatry unknown to us. We are living the path of righteousness gradually. But what our spiritual leader, the, those who are in authority as a, as a leader in, in, either, in, in any of those religious sectors, in what they are giving us. But what happened? When God was angry, the rest are history. All the children of Israel, they suffer for it. Who led them to idolatry? Aaron. All those people, they all perish in the wilderness. They suffer serious casualty. The man that led them to what? To idolatry did not suffer casualty. His only punishment was that he will not enter into the promised land. And the mantle was transferred to his son. But all other people died a gruesome death in the wilderness. If we don't pray for our leader, either our father, either our mother, either our boss, either our political leader, either our party leader, either our president, uh, the executive, the legislative, the judiciary, whatever decision they make will be on us. And there's nothing we will do. We only cry, we only shout. The pain, we are the one to feel it. They don't know it. Can we lift up our hand this evening and appreciate our Lord, our God? Let's lift up our hand and appreciate God. Let's bless His holy name. Let's give Him thanks. Let's give Him praise. Let's worship God for our leader. Mention the president of your nation. Say, Father, for on behalf of the president of my nation, on behalf of the leaders of my nation, Father, I give you thanks. I give you praise. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I worship you. I give you thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for my nation. Thank you for my country. Lord, to you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all adoration. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, say, guide our leader in decision making. In the name of Jesus. Can we begin to pray unto the living God? So, Lord, my God, all our leaders, guide them, O Lord, in the decision making. In the name of Jesus. Guide our leader. Lord, guide them, O Lord, in decision making. Lord, in the name of Jesus. We present our leaders before you, the president, the executive, the those in the state level, those in local government level, the kings over the, over our land, all those uh, people who are ahead of us, our boss at work. We present them before you. Lord, guide them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Guide them in any decision they are taking over us, over our land, over our nation, over our environment. Guide them, O Lord, in decision making. In the name of Jesus. Guide them, O Lord, in decision making. In the name of Jesus. Mention your president. Mention whosoever is over your the affairs of your nation. Ask the Lord God to guide them in decision making. In the name of Jesus. 
Say, Father, guide them, guide them, O Lord. Guide our leader in decision making in the name of Jesus. Guide them, O Lord, in decision making in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So, Holy Spirit, help our leaders to take right decision over our land, over our nation, over our environment. In the name of Jesus, can we begin to ask the Holy Spirit to help our leaders to take right decision in the name of Jesus over the affairs of our nation. Say, Holy Spirit, guide our leaders in decision making in the name of Jesus. Help them, O oh Lord, help our leaders to take right decision over our nation, over our country in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, help our leaders to take right decision, to make right decision over our country, over our nation in the name of Jesus. Can you measure the name of your president, measure the name of your country, and ask the Lord God, ask Holy Spirit to help him, to help her in taking right decision in the name of Jesus. Pray for him, pray for the president of your nation, mention the, the name of your country, and ask the Lord God to guide him, to guide your president in the name of Jesus. The president over the affairs of your country, say, oh Lord my God, Holy Spirit, help him, help her in taking right decision in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Hear me, sir. Hear me, man. In countries that we are having crisis right now, there are many people that are profiting from that crisis. You don't understand me. Many nations of the world, their problem, their, their war, their crisis right now in those nations. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. There are many people who are profiting from that crisis, from that war. For example, in Nigeria, according to uh, United Nations statistics, in Nigeria right now, there are terrorists and insurgents. In Russia, you know the Russo and Ukraine war. In Mexico, we have the drug war. In Ethiopia, we have the civil war. In uh, Congo, we have the terrorist insurgents. In Tanzania, terrorist insurgents. In Myanmar, we have civil war. In Colombia, we have civil war and drug war. In Uganda, terrorist insurgents. In Sudan, terrorist insurgents. In Nigeria, terrorist insurgents. In Iraq, terrorist insurgents and political upset. In Afghanistan, we have civil war, terrorist insurgents. In Ukraine, Russo and Ukraine war. Yemen, civil war. Mention the country. On and on and on and on and on and on. In our nation, Kenya right now, when last did the government pay us salary? The problem is there's no money. There's huge, huge debt. And people are working. If there's no money, before you know it now, it may lead to civil war. It may lead to it may lead to no rest in the nation. But here, Mr. Here now, there are many people with those crises on ground, with those crises in those nations that they are on, they are profiting from it, they are making it from it. For example, in those in those nations where you are having civil war, in those nations where you are having um, terrorist insurgents, those who are into sales of arms, guns bullet grenade are they not making it they are making it there are many people who are who are who are, who are importing those things those 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 guns those uh, uh, all those uh, warfare war uh, um, material into the country because they are making from it praise the lord do you know that there are many organizations that are making there are many organizations, there are many individuals that are making a lot of money out of African nations. Ask me why. They tell us they are giving us, uh, what do you call it? Um, they have uh, uh, there is crisis in African nations. Um, uh, uh, we need a lot of, we need to supply them aid and uh, the source for foreign aid in other nations. When they source for foreign aid, they will tell them that they are taking it to African nations to help them. But we, you and I know, 75% 75, 75 of those aid goes into individual pockets. So people like that, they won't want a problem or crisis to end in those nations. Because when it ends, they will not be able to get foreign aid. So we are going to declare and declare concerning our nation. Say, Father, 
say anyone, any organization that is profiting from unrest in our nation, anyone, any organization that is profiting from crisis in our nation, oh Lord our God, crash them in the name of Jesus. Crash and put down their system in the name of Jesus. Any organization, any individual that is profiting from problems, from crisis in our nation, Lord, put them down in the name of Jesus. Let the system be put down. 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 Lord, put down the system in the name of Jesus. Lord, scatter the organization in the name of Jesus. Put them down. Anyone, any organization, any individual that is profiting from crisis in our nation, Lord, put them down in the name of Jesus. Lord, put them down in the name of Jesus. Lord, put them down in Jesus' name. We are praying. We are going to lift up your hand. You mention the name of your country. Say, Father, say, I declare, I declare peace upon my country. You mention your country. If you are in Nigeria, you mention Nigeria. If you are in Colombia, you mention Colombia. You are in Uganda, you mention Uganda. You are in Sudan, mention Sudan. You are in Nigeria, you are in Iraq, you are in Ghana, you are in Ivory Coast, you are in Cameroon, you are in Mali, you are in Niger, you are in Burkina Faso, you are in Syria, you are in Shah, you are in Somalia, you are in Benin Republic, you are in Libya, you are in Central African Republic, you are in Mauritania. Anywhere you are, you are in Kenya, you mention your country and say, Father, let, let there be peace upon my nation. In the name of Jesus, upon my country, I decree, I declare peace in the name of Jesus. Can we begin to declare and declare the peace of God upon your nation, upon your country, in the name of Jesus? Peace of God upon my nation, upon my country. I decree peace in the name of Jesus. I decree peace in the name of Jesus. I decree peace in the name of Jesus. I decree peace, the peace of God upon my nation. Mention your country, mention your nation. I say, Father, let there be peace upon my country. Let there be peace upon my nation. Let there be peace upon my country. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Peace of God, let it reign upon my nation in the name of Jesus. Let's now begin to pray for neighboring country. Those neighboring countries that surround our country, Father, let there be peace upon our neighboring country in the name of Jesus. Peace of God, let it rain. 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 In the name of Jesus, thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. I join my faith with your faith, and we talk, decree, we declare together upon our nation, upon our country, that the peace of the Almighty God shall reign upon our nation in the name of Jesus. Concerning our leaders, Concerning our leaders, political leader, national leader, religious leader, environmental leader, concerning our leaders, even family leaders, I decree, I declare that the Lord God will uphold them in the name of Jesus. Concerning decision that they will be taking over this nation, concerning the decision that will be taking over our country, concerning the step that they will be taking over this nation, Lord, guide them right in the name of Jesus. Our leader will not fall into error. They will not fall into mistake in the name of Jesus. Father, deliver our leaders from selfishness things in the name of Jesus. Every self attitude, every selfish motive. Lord, deliver our leaders in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, guide them right. Lead them right to take right decision over our nation, over our country, over our environment in the name of Jesus. And we pray upon our nation. The peace of the Almighty God, let it reign over our nation in the name of Jesus. Over our neighboring country, the peace of God, let it reign in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord bless every one of us in the name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Ariola. Or the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry. This is praying in good nature. Let's not forget every second Monday, every second Monday of the month, we come online like this to pray. Amen. For our nation, the next meeting for to pray for our nation will be coming up next month by the grace of God. May second Monday in May. That will be May 8th by the special grace of God. And let's not forget for this ministry, our weekly ministration continue every Thursday. Hours of Mercy on Facebook page every Friday, communal service, 12 noon Nigeria time, and our weekly Fiji 
on Friday, 11.30 p.m. Every Saturday, our children meet for their own prayer, 5 p.m. Nigeria time, and the whole family will come together, 8 p.m. to pray for our family. And every Sunday, we meet online for our online Sunday service. For details, for inquiry, for questions, or you want somebody to pray with you, or you want to talk to somebody, there's something that is eating you up and you don't have anybody to talk to, you feel like talking to somebody, you feel like pouring out your mind and a, a believer that will hold you, hold your hand, agree with you, pray with you, encourage you, amen. You are free. Send a message to plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. Plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five. And if you are within the country, Kenya, you are in Kenya, send a message to plus two five four seven two eight seven one zero double nine zero. Again, if you are in Kenya, send a message to this WhatsApp number plus two five four seven two eight seven one zero double nine zero. If you have any spiritual challenge and you need somebody to pray with you, if you have anything going on in your life. You want somebody to pray with you, somebody to cancel you, somebody to encourage you. You are you are free to call that number or send message to them at any time. You send a message to any of the number and uh, they did not reply you immediately. I assure you, less than thirty seconds, less than thirty minutes. Within thirty minutes, they will get back to you. If you call any, the, any of the two number and they are not able to pick it, I promise you, I assure you, within thirty minutes somebody will get back to you once again you are in kenya or kenya has this plus two five four seven two eight seven one zero double nine zero or plus two thirty four you are in nigeria and it's other nation plus two thirty four eight zero six two six eight six two double five once again my name is ariola relua the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry till we meet again go forth and let the peace of God reign over your nation and let the spirit of the living God lead all our leaders right. Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord.